wow finally me yu doche is back online and she posted this beautiful photo of her family but while you look at this photo you just cannot help but notice that someone is missing from this photo who happened to be her second son kambili chuko and this is what she posted along with this photo she captioned it with a long write-up she said words are not enough to express my gratitude to you all in all of this ordeal we believe that this immeasurable loss is heaven's gain when you lose a, when you lose a husband you are called a widow you lose a wife a widower you lose a father fatherless you lose a mother motherless you lose both parents and often you lose a sibling or forgotten mourner other than veloma which, which means against a natural order i cannot find an english word for losing a child i do not think there's any death as intense and painful as losing one's child we are still in inexorable grief however i want you all to know that we are fine by god's special grace indeed the uncertainty of tomorrow remains a mystery and some occurrences are unforgettable but we just have to find a way to live with them no matter how painful and difficult they are the incredible love and support from you all my family friends and well wishes all around the globe through various means are unimaginable and unconditional in recent times we have experienced the most devastating and traumatic circumstance of life but your prayers have kept us going my friends and family have been a great pillar and helped me through the process in the most amazing ways all the brands i represent have been kind and patient life left me in a state of resigning myself to fate with a meaningless and overwhelming feeling but you my amazing fans stood by me even in my absence this love is god's grace and can only be described as both the wonder and awe of serenity serenity we truly appreciate and cannot thank you all enough and sincerely hope that everything sums up into enabling or stand the tragic loss and panic we only have god's blessing to offer in return and pray that affliction will never rise in your homes in jesus name amen it is possible to forget a child sorry is it it is impossible to forget a child so he will always remain the second of my four adorable children continue to rest in the bosom of almighty my sweet angel kambilio chuku until we meet again now this is a very touching message coming from me you adoche now if you know one thing since me lost her son me has not said a word and it's been months now and a lot of people were worried because nobody have seen her nobody knows how she's fair nobody knows anything except her family of course and me being a quiet person that she had always been all this years married for 17 years before the whole drama and everything that started that's when people even started seeing me more online and all of that so people didn't know what to expect it was this the end is she just going to go back inside is she going to go back to her shell like she had always been a private quiet person that just wants to raise her kids you know have a beautiful family raise her kids do her business support her husband and all of that so it is it is indeed good to see me uh put up a write up 
like this, letting everyone know, everyone that truly cares about her, know that she is trying her best to hold herself together because out of four children, now she still has three to look after and make sure that they are okay. And um, that's not an easy task when you are mourning the loss of your, your son. And even before uh, the, the loss of her son, she was already battling her husband bringing in another woman in shock and everything that that has not even died down before <sighs> this whole losing of her son happened so it's just so much it's so much happening to one person almost at the same time and a lot of people have true fans are true lovers true supporters were really really worried about me edoche and wanted to just hear her say she is she, she is still holding on in there because a lot of people were really telling her to hold on hold on in there god is with you a lot of people were concerned for daniela uh which is the first child and the rest of the children uh all of that because they are all going to be affected this is a boy that they all grew up with in the same home okay they have their own home in lagos so it's not as if they've been moving from rented apartment and some persons are living with uncles and aunties and stuff like that no maybe they go for visits to their grandparents are pet doche and his wife and visit their uncles links and all those other people from mom, mom's side and dad's side and all of that but the main thing is that they all grew up in that lagos home that was built by may edoche and um the husband Yul Edoche, you know, so to wake up one morning, all of you go through your normal routine and wake up people that are going to school, going to school, mom going for her business and everything, just to hear that everybody else got back from school except one of you, and you will never ever get to see that person again. The last time you're going to be seeing that person or touching that person, the person cannot talk back at you, the person cannot look at you, the person cannot smile at you, and that is your own blood, your own brother that has protected you, has played with you, has done everything, eat with you, fight with you, everything, and now he's, it is going to be so difficult for these children to understand at the age that they are so it is very very difficult and it, and all of this weight falls on the shoulder of their mom now some of you might say why do you say all of this weight falls on the shoulder of their mom i would have said that all of this weight falls on the shoulder of their parents if yule doche was present but now yule doche has two families so now he has to even spread his wings more because he cannot stay in lagos throughout he has his job to do in asaba and those Enugu and those area and he also has another family that he's raising there which is Judy Austin and um, uh, his son's prince a bit star DK star I think yeah star DK so he oh, and their newborn baby that we don't know maybe his or her name yet but yes yeah, so he has another family back in Asaba that he needs to take care of also so he cannot always be with his family in Lagos and he cannot always be there we all saw how uh, he left from there went back and then he started with his second wife with the multiple content creating online and all of that you, which you can fully tell that he's back to base let's put it that way because that's where he works right so he's back to base and now these children are left in lagos with their mom alone so hence i said the whole of this job now falls on the shoulder of may and doche and it is a whole lot because right now may doesn't even have much time to mourn may doesn't have much time to sit down and cry and feel sorry and pity for herself she knows that she needs to stand up buckle up clean up her eyes and be strong for these children that are still alive she knows that she needs to be strong and show them that life goes on just because our brother our son is dead doesn't mean we have to be down forever we have to pick up ourselves pick up the pieces of a minute of our life and move on so that's a lot of load and it is good to really hear from me we're, we're, like i i was really i was surprised when i saw this although a post came out recently where someone was saying that yes the person had uh, promised people on social media that he was going to be talking to me and now may assured him that uh she's going to be coming back online soon and here she is with this touching message god bless you may and strengthen your family god bless each and every one of you only god knows best